Hey everyone, Morgan here. I wanted to quickly do a review of the Gotenas uh, before we return them. That should be a tip right there for you that uh, we did not have a good experience with these Gotenas. Let me explain. So we recently went on a hunting trip and uh, we really wanted to get these Gotenas because with baby we weren't able to go out hunting at the exact same time. So one of us would go out and then the other went out while the other watched the baby, vice versa. So um, we really wanted these Gotenas because we weren't sure if we were going to have cell service out there. We actually hadn't been to this hunting location before. So um, we weren't sure if there was going to be a good service out there. So. We really wanted these Gotenas so that we could stay in communication with each other, especially with our child. It's very important and especially since we would be going out by ourselves, you know, out on public land and stuff. So it's very important for us to be in communication with each other. And so we got these Gotenas because we, you know, this attaches, let me actually take it out. So this works off of Bluetooth with your cell phone, which is really nice and convenient for us, right? So here is the antenna, okay? Let's just pop that little antenna up and then it'll start going. It's already paired with our phone, so it's already on and going. It charges with USB cables. So this end goes in here and this goes into USB. So it'd be nice because this could actually charge with the solar. So that's that was a nice perk for us as well. Now, it also has an app that you can download and it actually gives you topographical maps that you can uh, download and it lets you record your low, like when you're walking, it'll let you record um, where you've gone. So then if you ever get lost, you can go to the app and be like, okay, well, let's go. Uh, let's go back this way, you know, this is where I came from, which is really, really nice. Now, I think maybe we expected too much from this. Um, even on the box it does say that in an urban area it'll go up to one mile and then from like mountain to mountain see it'll go up to four miles of course it has a little asterisk there because with these um, they run off of Bluetooth they don't run off of any services or anything but the problem was that I mean we were in an open field you know we weren't even in you know uh, um, uh, we were not in an urban setting and we weren't in a canyon like this I mean, we were pretty much kind of like this but in just kind of flat land I mean, it wasn't even out in the mountain. It was flat land and my husband um, was even on top of a hill and um, Maybe about a hundred yards from me and we tried to send messages to each other and couldn't get no messages were going through none and that was absurd to me because I was on completely flat land and I think he was even up on a hill so he should have got service I should have definitely got the messages but no messages were coming through I think at one point messages did come through when I finally then got to Highland but um, you know our campsite where we were was only uh, got, I think it was only about a couple miles away and you know I think one little hill may have been in our way but I don't know, I'm, I'm very disappointed with these. We spent, you know, $150 on these um, so that we could uh, be in communication. I mean, it, it, it totes no towers, routers, or s satellites required. Um, you know, you can create networks on your own terms, um, send and receive text messages for free, which is, I mean, this is all true, but the, you know, so the thing is, it's a two watt VHF radio. Um, it's 151 to 154 megahertz. Um, it has flash memory, good for hundreds of messages, rechargeable battery, emergency beacon, which we thought was a really nice feature as well. And again, it's Bluetooth and it's water resistant and dust resistant. You actually put it on the backpack, kind of like how it's shown here. They recommend putting it on the backpack instead of putting it near your phone so that it gets the best service. Well, that's what I was doing. Um, so, I don't know, I, we're just really, really disappointed because the entire time I was out there, I got zero messages from him. I got messages, I had to turn on my cell service, which we actually had, in order for us to be able to communicate. So I actually had cell service, so we were still able to communicate, but it's like, you know, we bought these because we wanted an alternative option and it didn't work out. In fact, <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure like a, 
a um, radio that you get from like Walmart would probably work better than than these. I'm, like not even joking. Um, you know the cheap twenty dollar <laughs> walkie talkies from Walmart. So anyway, um, I guess maybe we expected too much of it, but we knew our limitations as well, and we knew that we weren't going to be more than four miles apart. We knew that we weren't going to be in an urban area. You know, we knew that we were going to be kind of out in the open. I mean, we were out in the open. We were in West Texas. You know, we were in a place where it's like flatland. There are no trees. Okay, there's a little bit of hills down there, but I was, you know, when I was in canyons, yeah, sure. There was no cell service. There was, you know, the gotennas weren't going to work. I understood that. But, you know, when I'm on flat land or on a hill, I should be able to send and receive these messages, and I wasn't. So, um, anyway, we're going to be returning these. Um, we actually uh, supported the Beartooth from the Kickstarter, and those come in um, in December. So we're going to test those out and let you know. But maybe we just expected too much from these gotennas. I don't know. Have you guys had any experience with these gotennas? Let me know. Um, but honestly, I think a walkie-talkie would probably just be your best option in some in a lot of circumstances. Or if you have your ham license, ham radio licenses like our our, our uh, ICOM radios would be really good. Okay, so anyway, um, I will uh, talk to you later. Hope this was helpful. See you later. Bye.